This has been three years in the making. Uh, it's the final event in a three-year journey between ourselves and our US colleagues of bringing together uh, all that there is about robotic and autonomous systems for managing resupply for the tactical battlefield of the future. But the whole point here is to be able to use the technology that's emerging from the commercial sector, apply it in the military environment, which is a different world, and uh, be able to do that in a way that means we're using fewer people and making sure that we're uh, getting supplies into a much more contested uh, battlefield of the future. The Coalition Assured Autonomy Resupply project is a really significant uh, collaboration between Science and Technology UK, US, but also the practitioners as well. Forming those capabilities with what is currently available, what the current technologies are available today. And so as we saw here today with uh, some of the, the planning systems uh, on how we can reduce the cognitive load on uh, Army sustainers or UK or, or British sustainers and logisticians uh, to make sure that we can get the right equipment, the right thing to the right place at the right time. We need to leverage the potential of um, technology and these capabilities into the future force. The key though, and this is why this is so important, this experimentation, is to understand uh, what we need to incorporate uh, in the future, what is relevant to uh, the military and defence. Uh, what can make us more efficient and more effective in the field. And I think these are really some of the exciting opportunities that this experimentation uh, provides.